what are you looking for? Really, what are you looking for? Um, are you looking for fulfillment and joy and happiness and peace? We all want this. We all want this. Where do we truly find it? Most of what we look for is in temporal things, things that are temporary that pass away. That's where we're finding our, trying to find our fulfillment. But I want to read you some scriptures that will tell you where to truly find everything you're looking for. Everything. Um, in Deuteronomy 4, uh, let me just read both of these verses, verse 29 and 30. It says, and if you shall serve other little gods, the work of, and there you shall serve other gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if from there you shall seek the Lord your God, you shall find him. If you seek for him with all your heart and with all your soul. Verse 29 talks about serving things, serving works of men's hands. And as I was reading that, I thought, is it possible that we're serving things that we've made ourselves, things that we have working, that we're working on, our jobs, our homes, um, just our stuff in general? Uh, and are we neglecting or even forgetting the one who gave us the abilities to make these things, to produce these things, to, um, he's even given us breath and life. So what are you looking for? Matthew 6, says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things, all these things will be added unto you. Read that through Matthew 6. Above that, it talks about things that, that he will add to us. Sometimes we worry about, um, our home. We've got to pay the bills. We have to, um, uh, you know, have clothes on our back and food in our cabinets and in our refrigerators. And we worry about all this stuff, but it says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things will be added to you. And then in Psalm 34, four, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. When I seek the Lord, I have fulfillment. When I seek after him with all my heart and my soul. And how do we do that? How do we seek after God? We read his word and we talk with him. Just like you're talking with a friend, you tell him all about your thoughts and your dreams and your, and your desires. He already knows all about you. He sees you all the time, but he wants to hear from you. He wants a relationship with you. Talk with God. Bring him throughout your day. He's already everywhere. Don't forget about him. Seek him first. Get up a little earlier in the morning. Read your Bible. Spend some time with him. Uh, let me just remind you of this verse in Deuteronomy 4. It says, For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Do you know how much he loves you? He's jealous for you to spend some time with him. Seek after him. What are you looking for? What are you searching for? Search after God.